Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Melanie and today I'm here to tell you about my thoughts on the January 2023 Beauty Heroes box featuring bathing culture. Um, if you frequent this channel, I look a little different today. I don't usually wear my glasses. I usually wear contacts, um, but I've been having a lot of allergy issues even though it's January in New England. Um, my contacts were bothering me so much I had to take them out. And I am in the basement again, just because the babies are sleeping upstairs. And it's at the point now that when they're like napping during the day, I don't want to even risk at all waking them up. So if this is a better place to film and it's not disturbing him, them, then that's what I'm doing. Even with the pile of stuff I need to put away is in the background. <laughs> so this is the real situation right now. The babies are about nine and a half weeks old at this point and sleep is not very not going very well at night um i am exhausted and uh yeah so this is just the real me right now <laughs> so anyways either way i wanted to um do a quick video to tell you my thoughts on the january box featuring um bathing culture i thought this box was really cool because it was no skincare and it was all hair care and a body care item which i just thought was so fun and i i kind of was thinking to myself that I would be open to like the Beauty Heroes box almost being like 50%, um, maybe like body care, hair care, and 50% skincare. Um, but they, t I think it's more like maybe 75% skincare and 25% body or hair care. They throw in like body or hair care, it seems like every few months or so. But this was really cool to get. Um, I was really happy with receiving it. Uh, that being said, my overall thoughts, I enjoyed using these products and I'll show you what the products are. But I don't know that any would be a repurchase for me. I didn't love any of them. Um, the first, okay, so there's basically a shampoo and a conditioner. So this is the Bathing Culture Kelp Forest Shampoo. And this is in the scent Breakwater. And this is eight fluid ounces. And the shampoo, or the conditioner is the same size, eight fluid ounces, good seed conditioner in Nude Beach. So you got... A shampoo and a conditioner which I think is awesome to get a set I love that and I've used about there's like hair on it oops I've used um, about this much of the shampoo and a bit less of the conditioner which is pretty typical for me I tend to use more shampoo because I tend to do two shampoos to every one condition so like I shampoo my hair once rinse it out and then I shampoo it again um, to get like a double cleanse I just get a lot more suds the second time and then I use the conditioner you know one time and then it came with the body wash, which is the mind and body wash. And this is in, I could barely read it, Meadow Vision. That's this. And this is also eight fluid ounces. Uh, you can only, I've only used like that much. And then finally finished up with the Heat Wave body oil in Nude Beach. And this is four fluid ounces. And this is glass, whereas the rest of these are all plastic. Um, so it's just, the products are beautiful. Um, in the sense that I love their packaging with like the rainbow. My kids loved the packaging when I had it lined up in the bathroom and they first appeared on the bathroom ledge. The both kids that are like three and four and a half were like so excited and they just thought like the that it was like so colorful. They loved like the wave, the rainbow, which I thought was cute. It was like made them happy. Okay, so let's just talk about each one. I'm just going to talk about them in brief. Um, let's talk about the Mind and Body Wash. And this is in the new scent Meadow Vision. And basically it says the scent is inspired by a vision quest in a lush meadow, which it, and in the sense of ylang ylang, geranium, clary sage, and lavender. And basically this is their, this is the hero product that Beauty Heroes decided this is the hero product for the month. And it's, um, has like all aloe, olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, and skin conditioning glycerin. And it's bottled in 100% recycled PET. So this is the scent Meadow Vision. And out of all the products, this is the only one in the new scent. So, you know, I didn't fall in love with any of the scents. They all strike me as very like unisex scented. I don't find any of them to be um, feminine. They're not floral. They're not um, like, they're not gourmand, like sweet, you know, like vanilla or that kind of thing. So. They're kind of like, I don't know how I would describe them as like savory scents in a way. Um, so anyways, I am definitely, I prefer um, bar soap. So I used this and it was fine, but it wouldn't be a repurchase for me because I'm just a bar soap girl all the way. I will use this for sure, 
but I just really prefer the feeling of like a bar of soap on my skin. My scent, like pretty good, but nothing to me like that too noteworthy. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, just sticking with body care, I'll go with the Heat Wave body oil. Um, okay, so the only thing, so this is, um, it says lush, warm lush notes of magnolia and coconut are blended with citrus. And that sounds really nice to me. And it has a barrier shield of rice bran, fractionated coconut, sunflower, and jojoba oils. And it also has arnica, which is something that is healing to muscle soreness, and also has avocado oil to seal in moisture and deliver day-long radiance. And it says it's as light, warm, and healing as the sun. So this is a nice scent too. I think I prefer this scent of the body oil in Nude Beach over all the other scents so far. Um, it's a little bit, again, I really need to work on my description of scents, but I do prefer this one better. I wouldn't really exactly know how to describe it, but I find it to be maybe like more subtle and gentle than the other scent in Meadow Vision. Um, the only thing that kind of bugged me about this is for, I'll show an example, like this is a body oil, right? So I'm using it on my arms and my legs. Um, and I thought the amount that comes out is like really small. So let's see if I can, this is how much you get when you do a pump. So that's like how much I got. So for me, I had to do like 10 pumps every time to put it on like one limb. So I felt like I was doing like, I don't know, like over five pumps for my arm, over five pumps for my other arm, over five pumps for my leg. Um, it just kind of bugged me. It had like a short amount that comes out in the pump. It was just a little small thing that I think um, it wasn't my favorite like pump system. I think I like a pump that dispenses more oil in one pump. So I love body oils and I enjoy using it, but I don't think it would be a repurchase for me. I definitely have not found my body oil that I love. I've tried several Osmia ones and I haven't found one that I love that to me like would justify the cost of the Osmia body oils. And I haven't tried any of the Rachel's Plan B ones yet, but I did get several for Christmas. So I'm super excited to try those. Um, I am finishing one body oil right now from Pipette. It was just like a baby body oil and I didn't like it. And um, I'm just about finished with it. So I'm gonna be starting a new one like any day now. And I'm really excited about that. So hopefully maybe this year I'll find a body oil that I love and wanna just stick with instead of continuing to try different ones. But unfortunately this one was not the one for me, but I will totally use all of these products in full. Okay, and then the next product is the Kelp Far Shampoo. And this is um, supposed to help reduce static and frizz. And um, it has kelp extract, which has vitamin C and omega-3. It's supposed to help regenerate the roots, inspire growth and support strength. And it has seaweed, bay laurel, sweet orange and clary sage, which smell like sweet ocean spray. Again, the beautiful bottle. Um, so I did like the way this lathered. It did take me like two shampoos to really get a good lather, um, which is pretty typical for me. And this one is in the scent to breakwater, which is interesting is almost every one of these is in a different scent. So you really get an, you really get to get a feeling of all their different scents. Like the body wash is in, um, meadow vision. The conditioner is in nude beach. The shampoo is in breakwater and the body oil is in nude beach. So we have two nude beach, one breakwater and one meadow vision. So it's definitely a good sampling of their scents, which is fun. So yeah, this was, um, the shampoo was nice. It gave a good lather and good cleaning. I did notice that I thought my hair was kind of like greasy. Um, and I couldn't figure out if it was due to this shampoo or being postpartum and I was reading like on the pregnancy forums for like my birth group so like I gave birth in November 2022 so on the app baby center they have like your birth group and people are just posting like all the time and somebody posted about how their hair has been super greasy and I'm like oh I didn't know that was actually a postpartum thing because I don't remember that from my previous two postpartum experiences but luckily I just showered earlier um, but I've noticed like getting greasy up here sooner so I'm gonna say that it's attributed to being postpartum and not the product itself. Um, and I wouldn't really be able to determine that until like longer use and comparing it to like InnerSense, which is what I use daily now. Um, that being said, I like the shampoo, but again, 
I think I prefer the Inner Sense products, the scent of them, over the scent of these. Um, they're more, the Inner Sense products I would say are more like citrusy and that appeals to me more than these scents, I guess. Finally, the last product that I'm gonna talk about is Good Seed Conditioner in Nude Beach. And basically it's for all types, all textures. It uses brassica seed, coconut and castor seed oil to replace polyquats and silicones that tend to build up and weigh hair down. It has squalene, amino rich amaranth seed, which helps reduce static and frizz, while argan oil, carrot seed, and celery seed deliver vitamin E, fatty acids, and carotenes, and add a rich and creamy texture. This has a blend of magnolia, coconut, rock rose, carrot seed, and sweet orange, which smells like sun-kissed skin on warm sand. <laughs> um, okay, so this one I'm not really a huge fan of the scent. Ugh, I, now I have like a glob coming out of it. Anyways, so I didn't love this conditioner. I, when I use the Inner Sense conditioner, I feel like it, I don't know how to describe this, but I, I didn't love this conditioner. I felt like it just kind of like went onto my hair, but didn't like sink in or do anything. Whereas the other conditioners I have, which are right now are like the Inner Sense conditioner, um, I put it on and it feels like hydrating and stuff to my hair and I feel like it kind of like absorbs in. Whereas this one, I just didn't, I don't know, there was something about the consistency of this conditioner that I didn't love. So that also would definitely not be a repurchase for me. So it's funny, like I actually, you'd think based because none of these would be repurchases and that I didn't like really hit it off with any of the scents that I, you'd think that maybe like I didn't enjoy this product, but I, or this box, but I actually really did enjoy it. I loved that it was, like I said, hair care, body care, and then I could just continue doing my skincare stuff and not acquire a new skincare product this month and just enjoy like playing with hair care, body care as a kind of like, shaking up the beauty heroes routine of like skincare, you know, month after month, which is like what you signed up for anyways. Um, so I just thought it was really fun to like try all these new products and explore the scents and everything. Like that's one of my biggest joys with skincare, hair care, body care is trying new things and exploring them and seeing, you know, what I like, what I don't like and talking to other people like you guys about them. So I was super happy with the box, even though they're not necessarily like major hits for me. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the box. Um, I would love to know if you received this box, what you thought, um, did you you know enjoy them? I used them the whole month, so I felt like, um, you know, I used these products like a few times a week for about, you know, four weeks or so. So I felt like I had a pretty good impression of them and enough time to really, you know, draw a conclusion. Um, and like I said, I will definitely use them in full. I think I'm gonna, I have like a little shower caddy where I keep my stuff like right next to the shower because I couldn't have it all lined up in our bath, our shower the way it is, especially with the kids they used to like grab my products and throw them into the bath, which like once they did that, I was like, nope. So I have my stuff in a little caddy and I think I'm gonna add these, like the shampoo, the conditioner and the body wash into the caddy to like use occasionally, um, especially because like I opened them and started using them. So I don't want them to like go sit in my cabin now. I think I'm just gonna, there's room for them in my caddy. So I'm gonna use them for like a little, you know, variety, shake things up every now and then. So please give the video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful, click the subscribe button so you'll be alerted for when the next video comes out. I hope you enjoyed listening to me chit chat about my thoughts on the January 2023 Beauty Heroes box featuring bathing culture. And I would love to chat with you in the comments below on your thoughts on the box or you know anything mentioned in this video. I hope you're all doing well and I look forward to talking to you soon. The next video will most likely be an unboxing of the February 2023 Beauty Heroes box, which is really close because it's right around the corner. February is almost here. So that's what will be next. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.